best of espresso. You ready? <laughs> it's so weird. Do guys wash their assholes? Because I've been asking a couple of guys. I love this. So let me know. I fucking love this shit. This is what my podcast is for. Shit like this, dude. Espresso. It shot 246. And dude, I can't wait to hear your guys fucked up thoughts. Is that weird? Am I kind of a nosy little bitch for that? A little bit, but who doesn't want to know, bro? Let's see if we're all on the same page here. What's your wildest intrusive thought? We'll get to that in a second. But first, remember to get your merch from benedictmerch.com. This is the best shirt I've ever worn. I'm not just saying that because it's my shit, but like it snuck up on me. It's a Cinderella story because I wasn't wearing it for like three months. And then one day I was like, ah, I need to wear a black shirt today. And it was this feeling glonky joint. I was like, it's probably not going to fit right. Cause I just have like a bunch of stupid merch at my house and I threw it on and boy, it's so soft. It cut. It's just the perfect shirt, dude. Black and white. I would, I would, I would, I would cop fire you. Not going to, not going to, not going to fool with you. Benedictmerch.com. Get all your stuff. Listen to the Patreon podcast, $5 a month for an extra episode every, th every single week. Had a stroke just then. Let's not talk about it. These guys podcast with me and Joey Molinero drops every Tuesday. Check it out on YouTube, Apple, Spotify, all that shit. And subscribe to my YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Coming out with some hot shit on there. Uh, the, uh, 60 Minutes, the guy that makes porn titles, full version on YouTube. It's better. It's good. Let's get into this, dude. Hey, thank you for all your voice messages, too. I know, like, people are like, oh, I sound so, like, annoying. Who cares? Who cares? I hate the way I sound. You just got to get over it. Remember the first time you heard your voice on a recording, though? You were like, oh, dude, the first time I, like, left a voicemail greeting that that's what it was it's like hey this is ben can't come to the phone right now leave a message played it back it was like hey, this is ben can't go to the phone right now leave a message i was like am i fucking drunk and half sleeping why do i sound like that but then for like two entire years i didn't even listen to my voice once i was like fuck dude i sound like i'm high all the time all right, let's get let's get going. What's your wildest intrusive thought? Mine's uh, mine was uh, oh yeah. Every time I'm talking to somebody, every football coach I've ever had in my life. This is to you when you're yelling at me right in my face. This is this is what happens, bro. You gonna yell at me close to my face and like spit a little bit on me? Like I'm gonna think like every single time I did. I had a basketball coach in eighth grade that would rip me to shreds, bro. Every practice, every day. Come on, Ben. Dude, just fucking nonstop one hour of army drill sergeant screaming at me, bro. I'm not even kidding. Probably fucked me up. He's a good coach, though. Bro. He would get in my grill and just fucking lay into me. And after about the fifth time, I was like, what if I just fucking kissed him? <laughs> it can't be just me, dude. I've talked about it on this podcast before. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. I will. Yeah, I'll get back on defense. I know. Cheeks to the basket. Two, three zone. I'll get there. Yeah. Okay. Arms up. <laughs> Fuck. Oh my God. <laughs> what if, dude? He, you know, some, sometimes you deserve it. If you're yelling at somebody that hard, you deserve to get smooched. They know. We know. You just got it coming to you, bro. You yell at somebody for five minutes? My dad? I've thought about it. What if I did? What if I just laid one on them? It's more dudes because it's like, that's more dangerous, you know? It'd just be weird if I was like, or like a weird old teacher, you know? Just the weird, like old, kind of ugly people. I'm like, ah, what if I just made out with them, you know? Can't just be me. But if it's like a hot person, I'm scared. I would never think about that. Because people I actually want to kiss... I'm like, they probably don't want to. But the people I don't want to kiss, I'm like, well, I'm, I could go in right now for a slop shop. <laughs> All right. 
What's my other intrusive thought? Oh, anyone that's in my way walking, I want to shoot them with a silenced pistol and then fucking walk over their dead body. Just every time. You ever in like a grocery store and somebody's going so fucking slow, you're like, okay, like there's no one else in here? Dude, I just want to screw a silencer on a pistol and (laughs) then fucking roll over their dead body with my cart. Heidi ho. That's what I'd say too after everybody. <laughs> ah! Heidi ho. <laughs> Dude, people are have never been more in the way than in a store. Traffic, you know, people are in the way, but you expect it, dude. There's dumbasses. People have their turn signals on. And I'm that person half the time. I'm the one that's in the way. But dude, in the store, I'm like, bitch. Move to the right or left. You can't just have your slow ass in the middle of the aisle. Have some awareness in a store, dude. I just want to... Fucking falls. Knocks 15 cereal boxes off the shelf. (laughs) That's what I think in my head. But what did I do in real life? I'm like, "Um, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Oh, no big deal. That's on me. I shouldn't even be in this aisle. What am I doing getting raisin bran crunch? You know? (laughs) You're fine. In my head. (sighs) Screwing on the silencer, baby. (laughs) Ah! Let's hear yours. What's your wildest intrusive thought? Oh, I cannot fucking wait. Anytime I'm at my parents' house... And I'm holding one of the cats or my sister's little chihuahua. I always think, what if I just put your head in my mouth? Oh! Just at first to see if it would fit, but also like, what if? I swear to God, I've done that to a cat. What if I put your fucking head in my mouth? Why do I want to do that so fucking bad? I wonder... One time I, this is the closest I've ever gotten to that with a dog. One time I had like, uh, I ate like, uh, Ritz bits, peanut butter because my mom, like cheese was just too good. You know, you got Ritz bits. Ritz bits are like 17. Ritz bits are fucking gold when you're a kid. So we only got them like once every three years. My mom would always get peanut butter because cheese was just like too much of a treat. So I had Ritz Bits peanut butter. My aunt's dog was at my house, put a Ritz Bits peanut butter in my mouth, chewed it up, and I had just had it sitting on my tongue like this in front of the dog. I'm such a piece of shit for this. I was taunting the dog with the Ritz Bits peanut butter in my mouth like this. Like, here's the dog's face. I was doing this. And I held it out there a little too long one time because somebody was like talking and I was like, and the dog just went for it. Ate all the Ritz bits off my tongue. I was like, we just fucking kissed. Jake. The dog's name is Jake. That's the closest I've ever been to a dog's head going in my mouth. Was it just making out with me, which was perfectly fine. He was in the right. He was in the right. I was in the wrong. I deserved it. I deserved it. I deserved it. He ate the food off my tongue. It's like dog Eucharist. You take away the sins of the world. Now eat this Ritz bits off my tonguey. I swear to God, I think I've put something. I, I, maybe I put a cat's head in my mouth. I did. Because cats have the most like edible head, you know, like a cat, a cat's like snout. Like it's so easy. I think I was just holding a cat and it was like. And I was like, aw. Then I took my whole, I took it out of my mouth and just looked at me like this. And was like, like it was nervous for me. I was like, I get that. I get that. Meow, meow, meow. Hold on. Shh. Close your ears. I got to wipe off this mic. Uh. All right, here we go. Wildest intrusive thought. Oh, this is my first time ever doing this. And, but I'm like super fucking curious, right? About like, (laughs) it's so weird. Do guys wash their assholes? Cause I've been asking a couple of guys to figure that out because some people say that they don't wash their assholes. Like they feel that it's like, 
it's like gay. It's too sus. And like, so their asshole is just dirty. Like, this is the discussion that I don't know if you already had, but I feel like we, like, I need to know. I love this. So let me know. I fucking love this shit. This is what my podcast is for, shit like this, dude. I don't know. It depends. Dude, some, some, I heard some guys don't wipe because they think, they think it's too gay. They don't wipe. You smell like shit or you're gay. Pick one. Dude, I clean my asshole like it's fucking my iPhone screen. One thing is wrong with it. I'm like, <laughs> dude, I clean my, I take way too much pride in cleaning my, I probably have a rash on my ass because I clean it so much. In the shower, bro, I go in. I do a full fucking squat, catcher squat in the shower. Me in the shower. That's how I take showers now. Some spray tan shorty, dude. I don't want to get all the water on me because my spray tan will drip off. So I just hit the faucet. <laughs> like I'm taking a shower in a well in El Salvador or some shit. Pits, crotch, feet. I'm out. I wash it, bro. But I heard, I have heard that some people don't. It's crazy to me. You're not going to wash your ass? That's the thing that smells. Get out of the shower then. People don't wipe too? Cause it, come on, dude. You don't wipe? Bro, wiping feels good. It does. You're lying to yourself if you don't think it feels good. You hit like three wipes and you're like, damn. <laughs> You're like, I get it. I get it. I'm not gonna, but I get it. You know? You know. Just me? Anyway, I gotta I gotta go take a shit. <laughs> Wipes for 28 minutes while this is still recording. Comes back in. Let's <sighs> keep going. My worst intrusive thought is that anytime I see a police officer walking around or if I'm like standing behind one in line or something, I have this incredible desire to steal his gun and just run away and make him chase me. And then I would give it back, but I don't even like guns, but I just want to steal it and see what happens. I know who this is and I know you bitched out on that. Because I have the same fetish, dude. When I see a, if there's a cop standing in front of me in line for something, I want to steal his gun so fucking bad, but I don't want to run away. I just want to shoot him 15 times in the fucking leg. <laughs> or like near his feet. I want to do this to a cop so bad. Take his gun and, and be like this. Dance, Sonny. So the cop's like this. <laughs> it's my dream. Oh shit, I want to tell a cop to dance so fucking bad. You know how funny that would be? Oh jeez! Oh god! Put down that weapon, sir! My horrible ass shot. I'd be hopping back and... Fuck! Dance, sonny! Oh my god, dude. That's why I can't... That's why I can't be myself in public, bro. I will get arrested in nine seconds. Stealing a cop's gun. Uh, there should be a national day for that. <laughs> oh, jeez. You're under arrest. Stupid ass cop all out of shape and shit. Ah! Ah! Shut up. Yeah, running away with it would be cool, too. I swear to God, if I stole a cop's gun and ran away, I swear to God, they wouldn't catch me. I'd be so I'd be gone, bro. Skirt, skirt, behind a car, in an alley, over a fence. What are you doing? What are you going to do? I got a tracker in my gun. I can find you. <laughs> Dance, sonny. Let's keep going. Whenever I'm driving and I see people on, like, the sidewalk or whatever, I just really want to mm. hit them like bowling pins. Oh, don't feel bad for that. Don't feel bad for that shit, bro. Oh, my God. How good would it feel to just straight up take out a corner full of people? <laughs> then just be on your way. <laughs> Sorry, I was late. It'd be so easy to do that on accident. Can't believe it doesn't happen more. 
This whole podcast is because of Grand Theft Auto. Because the amount of times I would just flatten people on that game. Yo, it'd be so easy to just fall asleep or like kind of just just accidentally, you know, just fucking one little inch. (laughs) No shame, baby girl. Skip con. Every time I'm hiking or skiing and I look over the edge of a cliff, my mind tells me to jump. Mm. And it even happens when I'm walking along the edge of oh, a balcony, yeah. whether indoor or outdoor. Something in my mind is like, hey, you should jump. And I'm almost scared that one day I might accidentally. I know. Like I might accidentally listen to the voice and jump. And then as soon as I jump, I'd be like, oh no. I know. I fucking know, bro. Why is that? Why do you kind of want to a little bit, you know? Why? It's just like, uh, it's so cl- It's just so like, it's such a disaster. You just kind of want to do it. Like, what if I did just fucking. Pfft. Oh my God, he jumped. Dude, I was. <laughs> I was filming a TikTok one time. And I was just walking on this fucking ledge on the circle in Indianapolis. I just knew how to get out to the balcony. And I was walking on this ledge for a TikTok, which would have definitely been taken down. But like 30 times, I was like, just tip over, just tip over, just tip over. What if you did? What if you did? What if you did? Part of me is like, I'd survive. I'd land on my feet. My ankles would hurt, but I'd land on my feet. And I stopped filming the TikTok and I got back down and uh, there were 13 cops at the door waiting for me because they thought I was going to jump off. And I was like, you were almost right. But yeah, bro, there's just something about a cliff that you're like, just one wrong step. But why would it feel so right? (laughs) So fucked up, dude. But is it? Let's keep going. So my intrusive thought is, you know, when you're talking to someone and they have like this one beard hair or mustache hair or eyebrow hair that's significantly longer than all the other ones. And I want nothing more in life than to just pluck the shit out of that bad boy. I don't know. I I cannot focus if you're talking to me. If you have a facial hair that is longer than the other ones, my number one priority is to get that hair off of your face. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Ben. Love the pod. Uh, Detroit show was awesome. Oh! Come to the West Coast soon. Arizona. See ya. Oh, I'm in love with you! Dude, you could not be more my friend without either of us knowing each other. Why the fuck can't the person with the long-ass hair poking out of their face See it in the mirror. You don't see that, you bozo? I probably have one on my goddamn face right now. Huh? That extra long ass hair right by your nose in the center of your face. You didn't see that this morning in the mirror? You're crazy. The first thing I'm looking for in the mirror is the first thing I think every day I wake up is, is there a long fucking hair coming out of my face? Because that's the only thing I'm worried about in my life. Literally. Worst fear, getting stranded on an island and not having a mirror. Not because I want to look at myself. I just want to make sure I don't have a long fucking hair coming out of the top of my nose. Dude, if a girl ever came up to me and said, hey, you have a you have a really long eyebrow. I'm going to pull it out. I'd be like, my system would shut down and I'd go on the ground and fucking start. I'd go on the ground. You know how cartoons like turn into a metal pole and they're like, dun, dun, dun. that's what, that was, a, that's what would happen to me. Want this girl ruined my soul one time. Actually, this is like the, th- like three girls have done this and they go like this. Hey, your ears are like kind of hairy. That's happened three times. And I will never forget where I was every single one of those times. Two of them were in the car. Girls, just look at your fucking face in the car. It sucks. But ear hair is tricky. If you have long ear hair, like old guys and shit, like you can't see that. But I'm talking about the hairs that are like, like right here 
It's my fucking dad, bro. My dad grows hair out of the top of his nose. No one else does this. I haven't seen anything in my entire life like it. He's got four hairs on the bridge of his nose. He's got a nose mohawk. He's got a no-hawk. And like, it takes me so much courage to be like, bro, you're fuck. Can you shave your nose, please? It's all I look at. And he's just walking around with the no-hawk. I almost want to shoot him in the... I almost want to tranquilize him with a blow dart. <laughs> and he's passed out. And I just pluck his four no nose hairs and leave him there. And he wakes up and he's like, oh, uh, uh, okay, all right. Uh, checks for his keys in his wallet, goes back inside. But I'm like, <laughs> I'm behind a tree. <laughs> with the four nose hairs in my hand. <laughs> and I blow them all. <sighs> They all plant in the ground and four evergreen trees grow three years later. Wow. Same here, bro. I'm on your page. Wildest intrusive thought. Let's keep going. Hi, Ben. My intrusive thought is that our cat has somehow escaped from the house, even if no windows or doors are open. It I just could. get this panic feeling of like, oh my gosh, I haven't seen our cat in 30 minutes. Did he get out? I'm nine months pregnant, so I can only imagine what this feeling will be like when I have a child. Thanks for always making us laugh. Oh, my God. I love you. Dude, people, you guys are so goddamn nice. Shit. No one. I, I seriously love you so much. Thank you for that. But that cat does know how to get out of your house. It knows how to kill you. It knows how to steal your car and drive it to fucking PetSmart. To buy a little mouse toy. It knows how to do all that shit. It just doesn't. Because it's a psycho, dude. Cats are fucking psycho. It knows. But it's just, it's just waiting for the day. It's just waiting for the right day. Bro, I would not trust a cat around a baby. I'd have to separate him. Because you know that cat would scratch the fuck out of that baby on some jealous shit. Cats are jealous, bro. I love when cat. I, just, I love that cats are such pieces of shit, but they never think about like the their consequences. You know, like when a cat falls down, I'm like, yes, the world is getting what it deserves. It knows how. Trust me, that's an intrusive fact. Let's keep going. I also have the like making out with whoever I'm talking to one. Oh wait, wait, wait! And this is the, I'm really happy. That was two of, two of two. This is one of two. My wildest intrusive thought happens a lot when I'm at work. People will come into the bar and I'll be getting their drink order, and I just start wondering what they look like when they're having sex. Oh and yeah. What their sex face is. What kind of noises they make. Okay. Never it's really thought about disruptive that. disruptive to my work ethic. And like, it's okay if they're attractive, but when they're not, oh. it's kind of just like, why, brain? Why are you doing this? Okay, love you, bye. She said I love you. But seriously, though, don't you think about that all the time? That's all I think about. When I see two like hot people dating, I'm like, yo, they have fire sex. <laughs> But I'm like, good for them, you know? They're like, that's tight. But ugly people, I'm like, kind of want to see that more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, don't you? Don't you just want to like, yeah. Because like, you know, like when, a, like, every, like you look at it, like as a guy, you look at a girl's ass always because you just do. And it doesn't even matter if they're attractive or not. You just look, you just look. So you wonder that about sex, too. Like, two kind of unattractive people, you're like, still would watch. Let's go to two of two. Happy that I'm not the only one who's crazy. I also have the, like, making out with whoever I'm talking to one. Mm -hmm. And I'm really happy that I'm not the only one who's crazy. But maybe it's just because we're both Scorpios and Scorpios are supposed to be horny as fuck. Oh, didn't know that. Do now, but, um, 
that's all I used to think about. Like when I'd see, uh, like, like I tweeted this one time. This is so stupid, bro. My tweets used to be insane. And I have a, like, I've like a family that follows me, my own family. One time I was like, just saw so-and-so's parents in church and then just thought about how they have sex for the rest of the hour of church. I tweeted that. <laughs> Sorry, just honest. Just thinking about one dude's parents having sex for an hour while I'm kneeling and genuflecting and eating Eucharist. Taste and see. Motherfucking taste and see. You're the thinking of two 40 year olds banging when they get home. If that's not what church is for. I don't want to go to church anymore. Only thinking about bad shit in church. So my most intrusive thought is in my job as a makeup artist, whenever I get to doing lips on people, like applying lipstick or lip gloss or whatever, I have this thought about just kissing them. Oh, (laughs) yeah. um, How do you not? It's really hard to get past. Hasn't happened yet, though. If you're just fucking with somebody's lips on their face, bro, oh my God, wouldn't you just want to kiss the shit out of them? You're smashing their lips around and shit with your... How do you not fucking kiss them? Dude, I swear, if I was giving somebody a haircut, I'd fucking kiss the top of their head. Love you. Fuck. My bad. Somebody's neck? Oh, my bad, dog. Shit, that's on me. What if you did that, though? What if the barber... <laughs> what if you are a barber and that was like a prank you pulled? That's how I think, bro. I think in pranks. Like, what if I pretended to be a barber for the day and I just saw... I just, I just tried to see how many people I could kiss and be like, my bad, dude. <laughs> Me as a barber. Oh, shit, dude, my bad. I was just trying to see something. And, oh, fuck. Just keep kissing him. As a makeup artist, though, real close to their face. How are you not making out with somebody? I don't even care what they look like. You're kissy. Getting kissy with it. Na, 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 na. I'm so glad you guys are like this. That's how it should be, dude. These are just all normal thoughts to me. So sometimes whenever I'm driving with someone... I get this intrusive thought always. Like, what would they do if I just threw their wallet out the window? Oh. Or, like, just threw their phone out the window? What would they do? Oh. Still want to do it one day. Do it to me. That is dirty talk to me, yo. I, almost, I, I pretended to throw my fucking phone. That was like my party trick growing up. I'd grab my phone from the middle console or someone else's phone, roll down my window and act like I threw it out the window every single time. It's so much fun, bro. God, off a highway, like an overpass. Mm. What are you going to do, bitch? (laughs) This shit I want to do every single day. I think has anyone. Okay, I guess when you act on an intrusive thought, that's when you go to jail. But yo, one time. It was in high school and my, I don't know, my friend was pissing me off and we always fucked with each other. Like, like one time, one time, like he, we were in my car and he just spilled a fucking milkshake all over my car. And I was like, you bitch, you know, like, fuck. All right, I'm going to get you back. This is how I got him back. I took his phone and just fucking threw it over three yards. And I knew it was going to be okay because it's going to land in grass. And this is neighborhood grass, so it's like fluffy and like Scott's Turf Builder type shit. So nothing was going to happen to it. But bro, when that phone was in peak flight, oh, the serotonin coursing through my veins to my brain has never been higher. Just a flip phone in the air, seven stories up, bro. I threw it so fucking far. A phone. Dude, he was like, dude, he audibly was like, oh, 
Never heard him make that noise in my life. Known him for fucking ever. Oh! I was like, <laughs> it's okay, you piece of shit. Well, I still had milkshake on my face from cleaning it off my car and licking it. Bro, I love you guys so much. You have no fucking idea. I could do that. I think we need to do part two next week. This shit is fire. Just keep going. So this is definitely probably the most common intrusive thought, but you know, driving down the highway mm -hmm. and you're like, dude, I could totally just yeet right off this fucking you know, bridge, <laughs> intersection, whatever, and like kill everybody in the car, <laughs> including myself. And it's like, no, I don't want to die. Like, why does that thought come to mind so, so fucking prominently in common? Like, it's fucked, right? Like, it's not it's though. normal, though. We all have that thought, right? <laughs> fuck. <laughs> fuck. Finally, yo. Can we start? Can we start tagging the end of our voice messages with <laughs> fuck again? <clears throat> not that I care or anything, but yo, I think about it all the time. Isn't it weird? Like when you're driving a group of people, you could die at any minute. I used to always be like, I'll drive. And then I thought about that and I was like, never driving again. You can just fucking kill everybody in that bitch and it's all your fault. Whoopsies. You're literally responsible for their lives in a car. Couldn't be me. I'll fucking run. I'll fuck around and drown the car into the neighborhood pond before we even hit the fucking highway. <laughs> yeah, very, I don't know why it's so common, dude. But it sounds good, doesn't it? Don't know why, but it sounds fucking good. Here we go. So my most intrusive thought is um, basically when you're talking to your friends. <laughs> um, how big they are, what what it might look like, sizing up the competition. Oh in yeah, fairness, but without it being a competition, so it's it's fairly wild and quite weird. Now that I say it out loud, thank you. <laughs> he said thank you after, <laughs> like he performed. No, thank you, bro. Oh my god, yeah, everybody thinks about that, right? Maybe I don't know. Probably more guys than girls. I don't even think girls give a fuck. Girls aren't out here being like, I bet his dick's huge. It's only dudes. And it's the most straight alpha dudes ever that are like, I bet he has a big dick. <laughs> I don't know. Can you tell? Can you tell just by looking at a guy? Low key. It's always like the skinny like skater guy. You're like, fuck, I gotta get out of here. I'm gonna go kill myself. This guy's a hog. All right, we got a couple more. This is the best fucking time of my life. I love this. Into the message requests. Here we go. Strap up, people. What's your wireless intrusive thought? So, uh, one intrusive thought What's is What's going on with the fucking the accents? Hold and on. Uh, one What's my demo? Australia only? An intrusive thought is when you're on the underground in London and there's loads of people on the escalator in front of you that you just feel the need to push them so that they all domino to their demise at the bottom. Um, and the other one is when I'm walking around a supermarket and I see like packs of pre-packed meat, <laughs> I feel like I have to poke it. So people are purchasing, uh, you know, brand new meat that's been poked. Yo, was that the cutest fucking death note you've ever heard in your life about people dominoing down an escalator? Can we just listen to that? How do you talk that goddamn good? That was fake, dude. Listen to this. So uh, one intrusive thought is when you're on the underground in London and there's loads of people on the escalator. What the fuck movie is that from? This this girl. Is this an actress? Bro, if somebody talked to me like that, I would have no choice but to make out with them. On sight. Actually, I'd ha I have too much respect. I would kiss their hand and walk away. And never talk to them again. And I wouldn't walk away. I'd frolic.
Wow. Yeah. On, when you're on an escalator, like in a busy fucking mall, Christmas time mall vibe, everybody's there packed. Aunts, moms, dads, last minute shoppers, kids, fuck them. Get to the top of an escalator. I just want to do this. All the way back, yo. All the way back. Oh my God. Oh Jesus. Breaking legs, fucking, fucking people up, man. That's all I want to do. Yeah, but that, the other thing she said, poke the meat. Yeah. That's every day. I actually want all that like ground, ground up meat, dude. I just want to fuck, fuck. I would sit in a store and do that for 10 minutes. Maybe 10 hours. Oh, God, the meat slapper's back. Just in the fucking, in the meat department or whatever that is. What department is that? In the butcher fucking whatever, where all the Oscar Mayer and Tyson chicken and red meat is, just slapping the fuck out of it. Fuck! Yeah! Oh, shit! Just making weird noises. That's all I want to do in a store. my last day on earth that's what i'm doing ah fuck the meat smackers back it's two hours i can do it if i want just standing there being a weirdo my wildest intrusive thought is sending a jo during your podcast and sending a mega kumbaya wait what a jo jack off during your podcast mega kumbaya does he mean like ah? Uh? You could if you wanted to, bro. I've always thought about that, too. Just busting in a room. Ew, I said busting. Shouldn't have said that. I'm, in, I'm not even going to continue with that thought. But, dude, I used to do this all the time, too. I'd, I'd like, uh, on AIM, growing up, like, I'd click on a girl's name that was online. Like, because, you know, on AIM, that's some old-ass shit. No, I don't say fucking AIM because you're stupid if you say AIM. It's A-I-M, obviously, because it's an acronym. A uh, Something instant message. A-I-M. Instant message. AOL instant messenger. That's what it is. It's a fucking acronym. So why would you say AIM? <laughs> but everybody used to huddle around the computer like three dudes, four dudes, five dudes, sleepover type shit. And we'd be talking to girls and shit. This is the only way you could talk. When I was like in eighth grade and shit like that, dude, and I type out some weird ass shit like in the, in the text block and I, I put my, my finger over the enter button and be like, and everybody be like, no, 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 no. And I'd be like, oh, I get like so close. I'd be like, don't push me. Don't push me. Don't push me. What's um what's the other most fucked up thing I almost did? Oh, one time we had these little like bottle rockets, like they look like TNT sticks, but they're like small, like dynamite, but they're small. And you light the wick and throw it, and it's like sits there and like sizzles, and then it's like, Pff. dude, I light the wick and put that bitch in my mouth for three seconds, like, <laughs> and throw it and be like, Pff. so fucking stupid. I should be dead. Okay, this is really terrible, but sometimes if I'm like eating a snack in public, and I just think to myself, like, what if I just took these peanuts and I just threw them <laughs> into the crowd of people? Like, what would their reaction be? And I was like, no, that's crazy. That would be like, I would be a serial killer. I don't know. But it just always comes to my mind. Oh. Yeah, I feel guilty about that. No, don't, bro. That is the most normal shit. You know how bad I want to take a bite of an apple outside in public and just fucking throw it like a baseball at somebody's head? <laughs> like sorry that's what you get that's my dream to walk around with a bag of apples take one bite and just fucking just yanking that shit just woofing that shit at people i can never say throwing i gotta say like a cooler word just direct contact with somebody's head like fucking 200 yards away what the fuck and i'm like <laughs> that was a fucking that was a that was a Granny Smith dog. That was a Macintosh that just hit you in the skull. 
Just keep going. No, but peanuts, bro, those won't do anything. But a handful, like a handful of trail mix, just whipping that at somebody point blank, that'd be fun. Feel you. Hello. What happens to me is that every time I'm talking to someone, (laughs) I imagine (laughs) punching the face. (laughs) (laughs) Well, you uh, choose love. I choose violence. (laughs) What a fucking crazy person. I love people like this. Um, Other intrusive thoughts I sometimes have is like in a conversation or in any situation <laughs> to say like the worst thing I could say. Like that thing that someone says and uh, well, they can go to jail or everyone punch them. It's like, oh, <laughs> I imagine the situation in which I say the worst thing I can say and, <laughs> and I just laugh. But I I'm sometimes afraid uh, because I think that maybe one day I won't control that interesting thought and I will just say it out loud and everyone will think that I'm fucking crazy. <laughs> Man, are we all the same person? God damn. What if you just said it, you know? Not that one, but just anything else, you know? What if you actually did? Just drop it. Oh my God, what a freak! You know, those people are just as fucking bad. Oh, you gross human! Whoever says that is the worst piece of shit. Oh! The lady that does this in the corner. Oh! Horrible fucking person. Probably has bodies in her backyard. Oh, disgusting. Send her to jail, bro. She's she's a horrible person. That's it. In case you hear this, I absolutely love you. Bye. All right. Well, love you more. Last one. I'm serious. <laughs> Fag. Last intrusive thought. This is the most fun I've ever had in my life. I love this fucking podcast. Thank you guys for these voice messages. This is what I'm talking about, bro. This is the fucking Espresso Fam podcast, dog. This is the click, bro. All you freaking, all you crazy ass people. I love you, bro. Because we are the, we are one. One family. Here we go. My most intrusive thought has got to be anytime I'm walking behind somebody, regardless how big they are, I'm like, I could definitely jump on their back and just break their neck. (laughs) I got a better one. Hold on. And no, I'm not a crazy psychopath murderer. But yeah, you are. I just watch a lot of spy shows. Spy. Oh, and break their neck. Oh, yeah. If somebody's sitting down, I do just want to go up to them and do that one that movie neck break that's like, <clears throat> and then they're dead. I'm like, I bet I could pull that off. How about chiropractors? Chiropractors are already fucked up people. And just to think that they could kill you at any second wouldn't put it past them. That's why all this shit is why anytime any do, anyone does something like crazy, I'm like, not going to say I'm too shocked. Anytime anyone jumps off a bridge or fucking anything wild, I'm like, yeah, totally understandable. Wildest intrusive thoughts. We might have to run this back. Yo, that shit was crazy. I love you fuckers. But that's it, fam. I got to get out of here. Remember, get the merch, benedictmerch.com. Thanks for all the interaction on uh, social media. Remember, subscribe on YouTube. Uh, listen to these guys. Listen to one of my other 96 podcasts. And join the Patreon, because that shit's even weirder. $5 a month for an extra episode every single week. Talk to you guys next week. I, found- I love you guys for real. Fuck, that was fun.